TensorFlow Lite is a lightweight machine learning library for mobile and embedded devices. Hi, I'm Dan Galpin and I'm here with Anita Vijay Kumar. She's a technical program manager at TensorFlow Lite. Your background is largely in infrastructure. How did you make the jump from infrastructure to machine learning with TensorFlow? So I've been doing infrastructure for a very long time. And one day I heard a talk from Jeff Dean on how computers can see cats. And so this was something really profound that we enable machines to actually have vision and see something. And so I tried a few code labs in TensorFlow, did a few programming in machine learning and became interested and moved in. So we already have TensorFlow Mobile. What was the motivation for developing TensorFlow Lite? This is a great question. TensorFlow Lite should be viewed as an evolution of TensorFlow Mobile. TensorFlow Lite supports a subset of operations today, and going forward, the entire mobile support should be on TensorFlow Lite. How did we decide which operations to support? So we talked to a lot of partner teams, the mobile vision team within, within Google. We talked to our Android partners, and we came up with a list of models that we wanted to support. And then we said, we want to have a subset of operands in the vision space, a, sub, uh, a few models on the text, and a demo-like model on the speech. So we, TensorFlow Lite supported flavors of these three models. And going forward, we will extend that. So how did we approach the problem uh, of improving load times by comparison to uh, full TensorFlow? So we use something called flat buffers, which is again an open source Google uh, initiative. They allow for really fast load times and they, are, they don't need unmarshalling. And uh, so this using these techniques helps us uh, to ensure that we can have very low latency and load the models faster. So um, TensorFlow Lite uses a model that has been trained with TensorFlow. Now, now, how does a TensorFlow model actually use a TensorFlow Lite then? So you start off with a regular TensorFlow model, generate a model just like you would do in normal TensorFlow, to have your graph dev checkpoints, and you go through an additional step of freezing the graph. This is also standard TensorFlow operation, nothing specific to Lite at this point. But once you have a frozen graph dev, once you have a frozen model, then you convert it, you feed it into a TensorFlow Lite converter, and once you fire, convert it to a TensorFlow Lite converter, you get what is called as a dot .light file. With this dot .light file, it can be fed into an interpreter, and using the interpreter, you can run your model inference on the device with TensorFlow Lite. What techniques uh, can developers uh, use to make their models smaller? Uh, we use quantization mainly. So quantization models are usually, neural networks are resistant to noise. And so we can get better computation and use smaller memory if we use 8-bit quantization at the, at the price of accuracy, paying a price for at accuracy. So what you could do is you could train the model with fake quantization nodes like we did with MobileNet and uh, get better results when you actually run your inference on the device. When we did quantization and we measured the results, what we found was that MobileNet is about 4x smaller than its float version, and even speed is about at least 50% faster than the float version of the model. So this was really great results that we saw with quantization. And so in terms of developing uh, TensorFlow Lite, you know, what surprised you about the process? So when we started the development of TensorFlow Lite, we had an audacious goal of hitting a very small memory size of being at least 300k or lower. And today, just the base interpreter is about 70 kilobytes, and with operators loaded is under 300 kilobytes. So we are at least 15 times smaller than traditional TensorFlow, and so we were really excited about it. We also announced the uh, Neural Networks API in Android. Now, how does TensorFlow Lite support this kind of acceleration? So we announced it a couple of days back, beta versions of an Android Neural Network API. And uh, TensorFlow Lite has hooks for a uh, Neural Network API. Using the Neural Network API, you can leverage custom hardware accelerators on your device. So if you have a DSP, the application developer doesn't have to worry about it and still write his TensorFlow Lite program. And if there's an NN API and a, you know, a specific hardware, those, uh, your instructions can be accelerated using that hardware. So if developers want to experiment with TensorFlow Lite, you know, how, how can they get started? We would love for developers to start experimenting with TensorFlow Lite. The tensorflow.org has a mobile web page, and you can see it's all revamped. And so there's a lot of data on uh, TensorFlow Lite over there. You can also download the source code from GitHub. It's under Contrib Lite currently, and there's tons of documentation. There's a model that you can download. There's an application, demo application that you can download and get started immediately. Well, thank you so much, Anita, for talking to me. Once again, this is Dan Galpin reporting for The Developer Show here from GDD India. Thanks for watching The Developer Show. Catch up on the TLDR and additional interviews from GDD India right over here.